Lydia from Dorkalicious, and today we're going to be doing a reaction to the Starship SN10 test. So the test they're going to do is they're putting this Starship up in the air and uh, for 10 kilometers, and then they're going to gently belly flop descent and land, hopefully on the on the launch pad. So um, here is our beautiful Starship, um, looking mighty and you know steely against the Texas. Boca Chica Sky. Uh, so, yeah, like, um, the other one was slightly fiery, so I'm hoping oh, this one's going to be a little bit better. Um, we're venting in different directions, so hopefully that's okay. I see on the left. Oh, we got three, two, one. Lift down! All right. Excellent. All right, it's going up. Great news. Lots of clouds. Lots of brown clouds. Okay. Huh, okay, so I don't know what's venting over there, but it looks okay. Yeah, what is this? I don't know what that is, but hopefully that's okay. FC2, please prepare for section 35, OSC, FC1, LVN. All right, I wish I knew what those call outs meant. But okay, so we got three engines, and they're looking hot. 30 seconds, Starship 10 has lift off. It's okay. 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica. That's farted out some Texas. yellow, some yellow smoke. Still farting out some yellow. Okay. But so far, everything looks bright white, fiery. Nothing, not like good fire, not bad fire. Everything looks good so far. Oh, the sky is so beautiful up there. That's nice. Hopefully they'll paint it a little bit. It's a little blah. But, you know, that's that's low on the priority scale, obviously. Um, okay. All right, we're venting something on the on the right there. Maybe just to kind of keep all the fire in check. It's like, hey, stay within this circle, fire. Okay, so that looks good. It's going up. Everything's looking a little bit cloudy. Probably because we're descending into the, you know, Cumulus Maximus. Um, okay, so now we're going up. Oh, look, and there's another camera. Excellent. All right, I love this camera because, like, that's where we can see, like, all the engines are good. They move around a little bit, eh? I guess they will because they're kind of at, like, maximum firepower. They're like, Wah! You know what I mean? Bolts and welding can only do so much, but at least they're, like, there. Like, so there's a little bit of movement, but not nothing too scary. Coming so they're still venting a little minutes, bit on the right. Ready to what is that? Transition from three engines to two engines firing uh, on Starship. Okay. We'll be shutting one engine off. That's intentional. That's intentional. <laughs> I like how they mention that's intentional. It's nice. Please guide me through the process. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. Excellent. Ooh. Fire. Fire. But contained. Good. Good. All right. Good containment of the fire. Excellent. All right. So I think we're down onto two engines now. Can't really see. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I got to see two fireballs. One is not on. So that's good. Okay. That worked. See, they're so wiggly. Do you guys see how they're wiggly? Yeah, I guess they're really close. Okay. There we go. All right. So far, we're 250 in. Things look good. One engine is off intentionally. And we got uh, two more. Okay. So they're probably going to turn off T plus three minutes and another counting. engine probably. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. Nice. This is intentional. This is intentional, people. Don't panic. I like how they say that because I tend to panic. So thank you. Okay, fire, fire. Oh, very nice. Very but nice. good. All right. Oh, fiery in the butt. Fire in the butt. Okay, no. Okay, now to switch good. over to the header tank for the one engine. And they're still venting that thing. I wonder if that thing is to keep the fire under control. Just be like, hey, stay here and no further. Okay. All right, so now we are on one engine. Looking good. The fire is within reasonable means. Pointing down. Not setting anything else yeah, on fire. I'm going to come back up when we hit 10 kilometers right about in three seconds. Oh, well, maybe he was supposed to mute that. Oops. Coming up on T plus four <laughs> minutes. We're at 10 kilometers. Okay. We've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. Okay. Single Raptor engine is still being powered. And still venting some weird stuff, whatever this is. I don't know if that's just like fire stingers or juice, like, psh, 
no idea what that is or just maybe gas. Let me know in the comments, guys. And please don't make me feel like an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So is this real or is this a generated? What is this? I think this is real. It's very shaky. Oh, okay. Are we doing the belly flop? I guess we're doing the belly flop. Okay. So I guess I must have turned off the last engine. Plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode. Beginning, beginning the descent back to the landing zone. I like how they're not fighting against nature. They're like, you know what? Let's just work with gravity here. Let's just save some of our fuel. The dropping is happening. But like, imagine being in the, in the vessel. You're like, <laughs> your hair is just going everywhere. Um, maybe this won't be so nice for like the human person riding in there but like mechanical wise this does make sense because just like ah it's a lot of it's a lot of weight falling at a lot of speed so uh it looks beautifully and graceful here though like you wouldn't you wouldn't think it's falling as fast as it is it's a big giant metal silo just rushing to the ground and you paid a lot of money to be on it <laughs> so you hope to god it it stays afloat okay Anyways, I, I do like Coming this. Up on five minutes, it's very graceful. Seconds, five forty-five. Two kilometers. We're preparing to light two kilometers. three reactor engines to begin the flip sequence. <laughs> It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. I don't understand how it flips. How it's gonna flip? Wouldn't it just go <laughs> that way? Oh, oh, that's how they do it. It's like one at a time. It's like boop, boop, boop. okay. This doesn't even look real. Oh fire! Oh fire! Ooh. Oh my god! There we go. Landing pad. Get down, get down, get down. Come on. Yeah! I think so. Yeah, yeah! All right. Awesome. They did it. Woo, 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 woo. Yes. Third time's a charm. Thank you, Elon. We're going to space. We're going to space, everybody. Dab on the haters. Yes! Go, SpaceX! That is awesome. Okay, hopefully that fire... Went out a little bit. Oh, no, I see it a bit there. But to be fair, it landed. It went up 10K, came down, landed on the pad where it should have been. So really, it's like just a slight fire. It's more like an admin thing. They just got to, you know what I mean? Other, other than, okay, I wouldn't like it to be on fire when I'm in it. That was a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> but overall, I think they, they accomplished what they needed to accomplish. So yeah! They landed the Starship SN10. They proved everybody wrong. So suck it, um, Bill Gates. Okay, Third I don't, time I don't think it's Bill Gates. The goes. Oh, we okay. We had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. Ooh. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, mm. and we were successful in doing so. Mm. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers. Oh, there's the water. Right yeah, it's coming. Time. <laughs> and then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. Yes, go flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform yes. that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned. A beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Yay! Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. Definitely. They've still Definitely. increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights. I love how this guy's so far away. He's like, time. no, no, the Texas no. Team has I'm not getting close to that. Nope. Test vehicles in build <laughs> with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. Ooh. It's an inspiring time for yeah. the future of human spaceflight. Human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today. And we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11. A few moments later. Oh my god! Hey guys, this is Lydia. If you like what you see, hit that like button as it helps our channel gain exposure. Also consider smashing subscribe. If you like our content, it would really mean a lot and helps our channel grow. If you want to interact with us, leave a comment down below or follow us on Twitch at super underscore dorkalicious. We'll see you next time.